morning guys i am coming to you this morning at 7 a.m i am just about to or tom and i are just about to have a yoga lesson this morning at home which we've been doing every single week and it has felt so good and yeah i thought i'd pick up the camera show you a bit of our yoga morning morning yoga session but yes hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new month we are in april how crazy i am very kindly working with HelloFresh on today's video so more on that later but in the meantime i will just share with you on screen and mention that i have in the description box below a discount code for you guys to use which honestly the discount codes that they give me to give to you guys is so generous <laughs> thank you to hella fresh for welcoming me on today's video and without further ado i'm gonna now stay and see you in a bit and in case you are wondering what i wear for yoga i tend to just go leggings and a top like this this is lululemon this top and then these are the wide leg leggings from Halara. these are just like a really nice comfy alternative to a legging that's straight down the bottom although i will wear either i wear either a straight full legging and then before long, we'll be doing yoga on the patio in the sunshine in shorts. But yeah, as for what's on the rest of the agenda today, I have a couple of homey things that I was going to show you. Some like little spring updates. And as always with it being a monthly introduction video, we have some monthly favourites that I want to share with you as well at some point. But yeah, we're just going to see where the day takes us. I might film over today, today and tomorrow, I'm not sure. It's just one of those vlogs that I'm just picking up the camera and we'll see where it ends up. What are you eating? What are you eating? What are you eating? I'm already picking my hairs off the mat. You have to fill out a triage form to be able to um, see the doctor. Yeah. Mm. It's been raining outside. It is. You're a little bit wet. You're a little bit wet. Are you going to do yoga with mommy? We are all systems go in the house at the minute. The builders have turned up. We've obviously just done our little yoga session. Um, the builders have turned up to start basically the huge garden project that we have on over the next 
however many weeks so they tom's out there with them basically sorting through this old shed that we had with loads of like just stuff in stuff that was left over here from when we moved here like literally things that the previous owner had in that shed so it's a huge huge clear out job i just had a quick sneak peek outside at the um the front of the road and it's let's just say it's carnage because we have um loads of stuff sort of out the front to not to sell or anything but just to have rather than skipping well there's a huge skip that's one thing the biggest skip i've ever seen it's more like a back of a lorry that's kind of been left here for them to fill and then they'll come and collect it, i'm assuming today so it's a kind of it's here and then it's gone type job so they have to fill it today um so that's what they're doing outside it's kind of miserable as well the rain has started it's one minute it's sunny next minute it's raining but yes they are cracking on with that there's nothing really of mine out there so i'm just like yeah just get rid of whatever i'm i'm more the attitude of i've not missed it <laughs> be ruthless just get rid allow people to take for free um of which having said that as well we have a new bed coming for our bedroom so i want to show you what our bedroom's currently looking like i've got someone coming to collect our old bed tonight so i need to i need to like strip the bed sort all of that out um clear out under the bed as well kind of try and maybe if i can dismantle it as well so that it's ready for them to collect so we're probably until the new bed arrives i don't actually know the delivery date i know it's been dispatched though and we're going for one from dusk i'll show it to you when it gets here but it'll probably have to be in my next vlog that i'll show you the new bed do a little bit of a bedroom makeover and bedroom reveal so that'll be my next video probably um so yeah for now it's kind of like just prepping for that i'm literally just can you tell i'm trying to be quick might even if we can pop to the shops at some point either in this vlog or the next vlog to get a, a few bits for that because i have in mind like a mirror that i want to put somewhere in fact scrap that i ordered one from william wood didn't i a big one oh hold on someone's knocking on the door i think i'm gonna have to go out there and just see if there is just double check there is anything that i want tom's just shouted do you want this tripod i'm like what else the tripod doing out there so maybe there are a couple of bits i need to just sort through so yes that is the plan i'll show you the little garden the little garden the, a little clip of the garden in its current state so you can see it before uh kind of have like a bit of a progress update as we go throughout these i oh, can't talk and do lip line at the same time over these next several weeks i'll just like keep you guys posted on my like it within my vlogs with what we're getting up to with the garden and how the progress is looking but it's good it feels like a while since we've had builders in where it's like all systems go it feels good because i really want to just enjoy that garden space and you know it's totally untouched needs everything doing to it so exciting times ahead and hopefully all in time for enjoying some warmer weather when it does brighten up because outdoor living for me in the summer is pretty much the only option i have to have like all the windows and doors open and hopefully we'll have a nice outdoor kitchen to go and enjoy too just host and yeah that is the plan so yeah it'll be nice to just have a garden space that is or at least looking a whole lot better than what it does now. So yeah, I'm gonna make up done for the day. Let's head down and show you the garden. You just put me my garden shoes on, AKA my Crocs <laughs> with my little golden retriever charm. So I did a quick pan this morning, <clears throat> excuse me, which I'll put on screen now of what the garden is currently looking like a full 360 degrees in the middle of the garden stood so that you can have an idea as to exactly how the garden currently looks in its current state. I will also, let's throw it back to when we first moved in the house and before we'd even done the extension, how the garden was super overgrown because we did have a first stage when we were doing the extension that we had to kind of take out a few trees. Let me just take you outside and let's just see what's in the shed. I'm kind of scared to go out here because I feel like if I commit, I might get roped into sorting stuff out. <laughs> so let's just have a quick look, a quick sneak peek. So the plan will be at some point, we will uh, take off all of this grass, redo it, but I think we're gonna have like a wall along here 
and then level it down because of the levels being uneven we're going to have a step down into the grass area i think that's the plan anyway um and then obviously all of this needs to just be cut back all the hedges all new fence panels along the back the sides these trees we're thinking of keeping the trees hopefully and then this area which gets a lot of sun we will be doing like a kind of outdoor kitchen but that's like in the future this first stage is initially just to clear and level all of this out and get a base structure ready for that outdoor kitchen and this is the shed very chaotic but this is what it's currently looking like we've got our table here which we love and it's a shame that it's in the state that it's in but it will be restored looking beautiful you managed to get through this pretty quick but you can get rid of all these chairs parsley parsley or weeds no that's parsley 100 percent that's parsley so it's survived the winter and that's mint look at mint oh wow oh uh, yeah so that's died off that is that's that's there yeah with things with grass <laughs> all of this well we'll have proper like herb beds won't we so we can still get rid of that mint. Nice. we can take the mint inside no. just how quick just so that we've got them on record of what they are so oh. that if ever we do need them i thought the hot tub was still in here thank god no, that's no, gone because no that. <laughs> that would have been green oh hello fresh box let's head on inside and tell you a bit more about hello fresh so as i was saying we are big fans of hello fresh in this household and today they are partnering with me to give you guys an amazing offer which i mentioned previously i'll leave all the information in the description box below but if you are unaware of HelloFresh and what it is, it's essentially a food subscription service, like a meal subscription service, which delivers food straight to your door. We have three meals this week, of which I thought I would show you. I've popped the bits in the fridge already, because essentially you get um, some numbered bags that correlate to the numbered cards, recipe cards, of which we've got some steak, got some uh, quick Greek inspired pork stew and then we had this one last night which was honestly divine. Whether it's street food, super quick like this one is, premium, family favourites, there's loads of different categories. You get all the kind of ingredients breakdown on the side of the recipe card, flip it over and you've got step by step instructions as well as the nutritional information. So these cards essentially make it super foolproof easy for someone like myself who is not that um adventurous when it comes to cooking i'm a bit of a lazy cook i'll be honest and for me the convenience for of HelloFresh, for firstly not having to like think every single night oh, what we having for dinner tonight it's all sorts of for you Secondly, having to like go to the supermarkets, buy all the ingredients, trawl through the aisles and try and find everything at, for each recipe. And also thirdly, for the variety, it's really, really great. It keeps me eating fresh, healthy ingredients um, that are jam packed into one meal, which I make myself at home despite being a novice in the kitchen. So yeah, I couldn't recommend HelloFresh enough. Make sure to use that discount code. You get 60% off your first box, 25% off your next two months, and you get free gifts there as well. So well worth, well worth utilizing if, you're been, if you've been thinking about um, subscribing to HelloFresh. And with it being a subscription as well, I will just say the fact that you can pause it, cancel any time is super ideal as well if you are, say, going on holiday. So thanks to HelloFresh yet again. Honestly, dream, dream partnership. If you are already a HelloFresh customer, because I know lots of you are, and thank you, have used my uh, code and link. So nice to be able to see that you guys have loved HelloFresh just as much as I have and have also started your HelloFresh journey. But yeah, let me know if you are already a customer, which is your favorite recipe. But I quite like it when they do seasonal things as well. So for instance, like Easter Sunday meal or barbecue season. I know they have loads of amazing boxes around summertime for that or seasonal bits around Halloween and Christmas. So yeah, it's a really fun part of my weekly routine, logging on and picking out the recipes for my week. But yeah, thank you to HelloFresh for very kindly working with me on today's video. We've got post, let's see who it's for. It is for Tom. I head upstairs quickly because I want to show you as well before I prep this bed ready for someone to come and collect it this evening what our bedroom is currently looking like ahead of next week's video or next video 
to show you a bit of a kind of bedroom makeover, bedroom mini makeover and reveal. So we haven't made the bed today yet. You can see someone came up for a cuddle bringing his dog this morning. He does every single morning. About 6.30, it's like our natural alarm clock is Barney jumping up on the bed with his dog. But yeah, I haven't made the bed this morning because I'm going to strip it and have a bit of a bed wash day anyway. But then I need to clear out all of under the bed before dismantling it and sorting everything out. So bedroom currently has these gorgeous bedside tables. I have to try and remember, it's a small business that sent us those actually. I have a reel with them on Instagram. The bed is from Cotswold Company which we bought when we first ever did the bedroom makeover and ever since I've not been fully in love with it because if you can tell it's kind of like a bluey black which I just they called it a dusky black but it's definitely like a bluey black I would say so we also have the foot on it which I find even though this is a super king bed I find that having a foot on the end that I sometimes can reach the end so if Tom at six foot five can obviously sometimes reach the end depending on what position you're in it means he sleeps a bit more horiz uh, vert uh, oh gosh diagonally which leaves me a little less space so I think by removing having a foot on the end of the bed will help so our new bed doesn't have that and what's more the new bed has an ottoman storage so it lifts up all of this stuff that is underneath currently like spare summer clothes and bedding and towels and everything it will all be able to be organized neat and tidy so hopefully fingers crossed that i'll be ready for my next video the mattress that we have is from emma so we are keeping the mattress we're just going to keep that to one side until the new bed gets here probably just sleep on the mattress on the floor until it does um and then over here we've got another one of those bedside tables tom got this for any nostalgic lovers this from tiktok shop i'll see if i can find one and link it but this was only about 12 pounds and it's a console that looks a little bit reminiscent of the old game boy colors who had one hands up if you did mine was like a purple clear one like this where you could like a transparent one uh, but this has it's a digital version that has every single hold on just turn it on i hope i'm not gonna like ruin a game or something that tom's saved by doing this but um it has every single game on for for like all the different uh old consoles so let me show you and then look ps1 games um if you go down to here there's like a section look there we go game boy color games that was like my thing game boy color so all the different games i used to play what did i play uh it's called the Pokemon games and stuff. What else is there? I used to play Earthworm Gym. Does anyone else remember Earthworm Gym? This is the one I used to play, Rugrats in Paris. Oh, I loved it. There's honestly so many. And that's just the Game Boy Color games. So yeah, it's actually really good. Um, so anyway, this is his latest. Goodbye. They've even got all the old music and everything that plays out. It's honestly the most nostalgic thing ever. Good little gift idea for any other, like, especially 90s babies that grew up with the, these kind of Game Boy Colors and PS1s and Nintendo 64. But anyway, again, more under bed bits and bobs that will be contained with a nice Ottoman storage, which will be great. A couple of baskets there with just some throws, hot water bottle, pillow and slippers. And that ladder there as well. I'm not sure whether or not to keep that or to maybe get rid of it. Maybe have some artwork there. Or maybe even in the middle of here we could put some artwork. I feel like it's missing something, this wall. I definitely want to have some kind of uh, mirror in this section with maybe a little chair. And then over here we just have another set of drawers, a chest of drawers, which um, I've changed all of the handles to these like Zara ones, which are much nicer. But I would, and I am tempted, to maybe even replace this with which is from Dunelm, by the way, with the matching one to this. The new bed that we're getting is lighter. It's like a lighter, natural beige kind of color. So it will make it a bit brighter. So with the dark furniture, I mean, for now I might keep the white, but I might also switch out this lamp. This is from the white company. It feels very modern. It's kind of chrome colored, but I'm feeling like I might pop one of my Zara home ones up here with the stone base instead so there's my little before and now i'm going to start with unloading and discovering what's underneath
have to admit guys, I am so glad that I'm doing this outside of spider season because in September when we have some whoppers, or roughly around then, I don't think you'd catch me doing this, I'll be honest. You also don't realise how dusty it gets when you don't have an ottoman bed um, for storage. Like, I feel like everything I'm bringing out is just covered in dust. So, all the more reason for switching this out and being glad all oh, I have. So dusty. Anyway, I now have this little... Uh, toolbox like everything toolbox which i got from ikea um to start and screwing the bed see if we can do this solo didn't have to get tom's help to lift up that mattress but we will see how we get on with dismantling the bed Not far off this being ready and needing a deep hoover. Got the windows open because of the dust, but I just came into my filming room, looked outside, the shed's gone. Let me just show you. Wowza. It's a big pile of rubble. So yeah, the top of the shed is no longer And just like that, the bed is gone. But can somebody please tell me where on earth the amount of dust, where does that even come from? Look at it, we have a fluffy skirting board. That is horrendous. So I'm gonna hoover that up, give that a clean. some bits from Abercrombie and Fitch because I've seen that they've got um, on their website currently they've been like pushing I keep getting the ads for their wedding shop so they've got quite a few new dresses but obviously wedding shop but they definitely could just be summer dresses summer occasion wear not just for weddings wedding guests but I did think I would do a bit of a, a try on review not even review but just a try on so you could see what some of them look like and some of my top picks over on uh, Instagram and TikTok I've got a complete mixture we've got some patterns some colors some white options so even bridal or even if it's not bridal but like hen do or engagement party or rehearsal dinner or just want a white summer's dress speaking of dress i think yeah this first one actually isn't a dress i think it's the only one i didn't get that isn't a dress but anyway i'll show it to you it's more of a jumpsuit they've also got offers on they had offers on for me shopping i think they've got different offers on at the time of filming so by the time this video goes up they might even have different offers but have a look because they do often have sales on or influencer discount codes i personally don't have one but i am if you want to give me a code for my followers let me know um but yeah i love this it's got like a kind of stickier top so that it will help keep it up and it feels quite weighty there's a slightly stretchy fabric on the back so that'll be comfortable i will link all of these items below down in the description box for you yeah this is number one a little jumpsuit i got that one in a small yeah i think it was this one that i saw that i just fell in love with and i was like yes let's go but i think it was the first one to go in my basket it is again in a small i got this one and oh it's so pretty square neck puff sleeve dress like a beautiful fabric kind of like double layered as well with a cream um base so a really nice soft color so i definitely think you could get away with wearing this as like a wedding guest because there is quite a lot of it's quite a lot of blue on it there's it's only a hint of 
cream and even at that it's more of like a darker beige cream kind of color or like christening again summer's dress this one has got pockets as well which is a nice addition and it's got a little bow detail to help tighten it if you need a bit snugger on the chest if you're uh, like me and just need things a little smaller but yeah really really pretty oh i love that one so much i'm definitely not keeping all of these because i don't one have enough occasions to wear them and two my bank balance would not be happy however i've got a funny feeling that this one is going to be staying another patterned one and this one's a much bolder blue oh it's just so pretty this one they actually had in loads of different colors without the pattern as well but i thought this one would be beautiful to show as a wedding guest option if they just if you did it without the pattern i think even bridesmaid Guys, I'm going to be a bridesmaid this year for my brother's wedding and my dress is from Abercrombie. So there you go. And again, I got this one in a small. It's got adjustable straps, that little cutout detail. Let's show you another white option. Let's go bridal. So this one I picked up in a small tall. I got this from the tall range. A small tall. So that if you wanted to wear it nice and floaty and long, Again, I'm thinking summer, summer's holiday, but if you wanted to wear heels with it, okay, this one's gonna need a steam for sure. Crisscross back with some lacing, bit of ruching on the bust area, and otherwise it's just a very tiered. I was thinking, you know, one of those old fashioned, a toilet roll cover, it's like a little dress. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like a woman's with a puffy tiered dress that sits on top of a tissue roll. Okay, I'm going to move on. Oh, this one is screaming Italian Amalfi Coast. This is a, like, very bold pattern for me. This is like, whoa, that's out there. But again, in the right location, stunning. So it's got that same kind of tiered, panelled, quite flattering top. It's more of like a midi length, this one. It goes quite below the knee. And again, has that kind of, like, puffy, dramatic sleeve option, square neckline. I got this one in a small, but for me, it looks a little big. Oh, I suppose the back is quite stretchy. This one's weighty though. I will say that's quite a weighty fabric. I love the pattern of these. By the way, as well, a lot of these styles come in loads of different colors and patterns. This one's a shorter one with a slightly longer puffier sleeve. And I love the color of this one. Again, it's a pattern. Has it got pockets? Yeah, it's got pockets too. Oh, this is probably gonna be another keep. I'm thinking on my summer's holiday, this would be lovely. It was quite short. Can you see it's more of a sage olive green, this one. Really pretty. It's got that same neckline and the slight ruching at the back as some of the others have. So that it's that Abercrombie kind of style. And this one's in a small again. Oh, really pretty. And you can even like, you know, if you want to get a bit of a tan on your neck area, you can just pull it down slightly on the sleeves. This is, oh, it's a silky number. So this is a... Satiny slip dress. This is more like the material of my bridesmaid dress that I've gone for. Oh, it's so pretty, this one. It's just a high neck, simple, bit of ruching. It's got a hidden zip down the side, a little tie at the back. I've got this one in a medium tall. I feel like I'm in between a small and a medium from Abercrombie, so this is why I thought I would just try some different sizes. They had this one in loads of different colours. This top I got in a small, and it's a one shoulder crop top. It's got kind of like Aztec-y type print on in a dark green then with it the bottoms are also in a medium i got them in the long version again and this one is just a plain and simple kind of like wide leg trousers again i wasn't sure on the fitting of this with them being high waist i might have preferred a small but um i thought i would go for that tall option so you could have the option of wearing heels and actually they're not that long so yeah if you're definitely wanting even if you're wearing flats i feel like it just drapes the floor on me in flats and i am five foot six it's like a double layered dress this one it's got a kind of slip on the inner on that plain in that plain yellow color but then the outer is like a floaty loose fabric i actually have one very similar to this from reese so i probably won't keep this on that basis but i put it in a medium and again, floaty, really pretty, a nice kind of cap sleeve. It's not a proper sleeve. It's just literally like a flap of the material that goes over the top. Super pretty and flattering cut. Then this one is, it's quite thick. This one is, oh yeah, okay. Similar kind of 
kind of neckline to what I've been showing you again with that kind of ruching over the bust and also slightly elasticated at the back so nice and comfortable but sportive enough to go braless and then again the puffy sleeves these ones are quite long again but this one's got more of a what can you even describe that print as it's kind of like it's a green but a couple of different tones of green it's kind of like a paradise exotic island uh, with like a little house <laughs> print really random but from afar it kind of distorts and you can't really tell what it is but yeah super super pretty very those kind of prints they're quite like dior aren't they i've got two more to show you this first one again another white number oh this one's so okay this one's very bridal bridal or bridesmaid in a different color or i mean we've been to a wedding in ibiza before where the bride wore like an ivory and then the bridesmaids were all in white but different dresses and I just thought it looked so pretty. Plain and simple at the front, low deep plunge and hidden zip again but it's also got a really low kind of cowl, cowl back, cowl neck. Again with the little straps at the top just to tie it together I think that is so pretty. It's double lined as well so it feels really nice quality. I would totally wear this like as a bridal dress. You know, like if you were getting married on a beach or something. So simple, so affordable for if you were going to do that as a wedding option. Or like I said, if you wanted uh, an option for a Hindu, an engagement party, a rehearsal dinner. Oh, that would look beautiful at a rehearsal dinner. But yeah, they are the few little Abercrombie bits that I wanted to uh, unbox and share with you. Has anyone got any occasions lined up? Any weddings lined up? Let me know if anyone's actually getting married soon. How exciting. Or if you've got any weddings that are coming up yourself, like me, where you're going to be attending as a bridesmaid or as a guest. Let me know. Anyway, I think we're going to head out for a quick walk. Looks really nice weather. We'll maybe go somewhere where Barney can have a bit of a swim. Maybe get back, have some lunch, and then make a coffee and maybe share with you some favourites. Yeah, I'm literally just talking through my plans out loud with you guys. Let's go for a walk. dog walk I have just made myself a little coffee and grabbed a treat as well this guys okay I'm gonna share with you some monthly favorites but I'm gonna mention this one first because leftover Easter chocolate who knows hopefully fingers crossed you can still get your hands on this and who knows maybe even a half price or cheaper but M&S the outrageously chocolatey biscuity egg has probably been our favorite can we class it as an egg? It's not really an egg, is it? But of all the Easter egg things that we've had, because we have been having quite a few Easter eggs, like literally every weekend that's been our kind of like weekend treat is we just share an Easter egg. So we had a massive one from Hotel Chocolat that was just ridiculous. It was good, but cost for value and everything like that, I think that one had to be my favorite. Just look how chunky it is. When you get a piece of it, it's got little bits of biscuit in there. Honestly, divine. Mm -mm -mm. Got a little list on my phone. Oh yeah, okay, so a couple of beauty favorites. I worked with a brand called Ameliorate on a, like, a video for them to use. And so I'm not really properly, although I've been trying them, I've not really in depth talked to them about, talked to the products with you guys. But of all the products, this, well, there was two, actually, I probably should have shown you the other one as well, but there were two that I absolutely loved. They had a full body care routine. You might have even seen it on their socials, um, but 
yeah this one in particular this is called the transforming clarity body spray and it's basically a spray that you can use i tend to use this after my shower either before or after moisturizer it's got hydroxy acid therapy and contains lab6 skin clearing complex so it's a mist that you can spritz if you get body acne or even just like bumpy skin textured skin that's where i will go in and spray it there another area sort of like the tops of your thighs back if you get back acne or even like i say just bumpy skin or a bit of like you just want some clarity this honestly guys i'm not just saying this it works and the reason why i know it works is because when i've used it and i've been using it through creating this content for them and trialing them out it was one morning this is probably tmi but whatever we're all friends here i sort of went to sit on the toilet as i pulled my, <laughs> my pants down and i kind of like skimmed past my sort of like outer thigh area i tend to get really bumpy skin there and sometimes like spots and as i did it i was like oh my god that's like baby soft and it's because i've been using this for me this has been a fairly instant result type of product so yeah especially with us having summer on the horizon skin being on show a bit more i thought i would mention that for anyone else that maybe does suffer with bumpy skin or acne on their body that has been amazing the other product that i was going to mention i've just not brought it down and it was kind of like their hero products that i was trying out and testing to review was their body lotion but it's a illuminating one so it's got a bit of a glitz and a glimmer and a sheen to it again summer i'm thinking everywhere <laughs> it's got those little pearl particles in it that just gives you that extra shimmer without it being like glitter on your skin and also something that i've been using since being sent this maybe was it a month or so ago now it was the bobby brown uh they sent me a top up of their vitamin and rich face base and the eye base i like to go in with before putting on any makeup just as a nice hydration nice kind of dewy skin before going in with my makeup but an extra step to that i've also been using their new smoothing serum so i use them alongside each other you could i suppose just use this in replacement of the skin base if i was to get one over the other it's personal preference but i would say this has a lot it has a much lighter feeling to it whereas this is a bit thicker and moisturizing also a little goes a long way so i feel like you can have sorry i feel like the lighting is not great here let me just move you around a little bit so i feel like you could definitely go in with uh all three you could just have one or two really just depends on you just a couple of fashion faves that i've noticed i've been reaching for especially this after my seville trip i literally wore this so much we we're only there for a few days but i was thinking i didn't even need to bring anything else so this blue shirt and i'm not just talking this one in particular i'm talking a variety so wherever just a plain oxford shirt in this kind of baby blue it needs an eye on this one this one's just from primark but i did get it from primark a while ago such a lovely color for spring and summer so i have been reaching for that shirt quite a bit and then on the cooler days this jacket i have worn so much i only recently got it but i have worn it pretty much every time i've needed to pop out since buying it and it's only from george asda but it's a gorgeous if you saw my asda haul then you'll have seen this oh worth getting it's such a beautiful material really soft i did size up purely out of the fact that they only had extra large uh, sizes left i probably would have done with like a large maybe i still like that boxy fit but um yeah they didn't have any and i still would say it's rec i would recommend getting even if they don't have your size just size up and speaking of asda actually i did pick up some white tulips and they were only five pounds and they have been my longest lasting tulips that i've had so far this year this year this season this year because i do like to get tulips um at this time of year so i have several times gone to the supermarket basically whenever i've done a food shop and they need a refresh i pick up some new tulips we've had some pink ones uh some white the pink ones were from i think they were from the co-op and they they didn't last that long but the white ones from asda i noticed lasted quite a long time so i don't know if that was just um luck of the draw with that one or not but we mentioned asda so i thought i would mention that too i also wanted to mention a new app that i've been using called yuka yuka it's basically a scanner app that you can use on like on your phone you take a photo of a 
barcode for say a food product i think they can do beauty swap it'll scan and tell you like a bit of a rating and sometimes as well if it says like a bit of a poorer rating like this barista oat drink if you click on it I'm just get it in focus for you it'll also if you scroll down it'll recommend alternatives so this one for instance i actually bought that one as well and that's what i first did i scanned the two to compare and this one said excellent because essentially if you actually look at the ingredients on them this um is basically just 100 percent oats water and a bit of sea salt the other one has different additives in it even tells you what the additives and things are that aren't great for you it contains e170 and e3 basically e numbers to avoid it tells you the calories the sugar content and everything which I just think is so genius. It's a free app to use. Let me just show you the example. We're fully expecting this to be a poor rating, okay? So <laughs> just bear that in mind. But you just scan the app. The app, 12 out of 100. Bad. Biscuit egg. It's got a photo of the biscuit egg additives it contains the sugars i also have a couple of tv recommendations of things i've been loving on tv or things i've watched recently i'm going to start with my favorite both tom and i loved the gentleman on netflix it's kind of like a comedy kind of it essentially starts the first episode with this guy who's in the army he's been told that his dad has passed away so he goes back to this family estate which is huge that his family has and he is the youngest son yet the father left the estate to him as opposed to the older brother who's a bit of a he's a bit of a problem child he's also got they've also got a sister the mum's still around and what he discovers through inheriting this estate is that there was actually an undercover kind of operation that's going on within the premises of um, basically a big weed farm under the barns so he discovers that he didn't realize that and he then kind of brings that on board and um, whether or not he like takes it on or not that's kind of like the, how it follows throughout the series but there were funny moments in it as well so good cast an enjoyable watch and hopefully fingers crossed they bring out a second series they've left it so they have um, but I think it's been really popular, so hopefully they will. Also, Thursdays, Dragon's Den and The Apprentice. It's just like a bit of a habit at the moment. I've been loving those. There was a program on Channel 4. I think there were only a couple of episodes, but To Catch a Copper, it's called. And if you like 24 Hours in Police Custody, it's along those vibes. But the, um, the people they catch, the criminals, are coppers. Love a Stalker Killer on Netflix was a good documentary. Again, True Crime... Try <laughs> true crime type documentary as was the british airways killer on itv and yeah that's everything i just thought i would mention those as we like to do a few monthly favorites at the end of these uh kind of like monthly introduction videos if you're new here and haven't already watched these in the past oh i hear the pitter patter of someone wanting to come and say hello well, we're actually just saying goodbye, Barney, because we are ending today's video here. Thank you so much for watching. I have a very exciting video planned, obviously, next time with the new bedroom. Hopefully, new bed will be here in time for me to be able to do a bit of a transformation video. Isn't that so exciting, Barney? But yeah, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you once again to HelloFresh for very kindly working with me on today's video and be sure to check out that discount code if you are new to HelloFresh and really want to try it then now's the time to do so oh I just love you so much have you both tired eyes we were having this discussion yesterday he was sat outside on the um like patio bit and he was sat with his head up just enjoying the sunshine but with his eyes closed and i was saying to him i wonder if dogs sleep like that you know how horses can sleep standing up i wonder if he was actually asleep or if he was just resting the old eyes but anyway thank you for watching hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day do subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and i will hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys